Have you ever wanted to be a banker? Well, now you can. Hi, I'm John McNeil, and this is the Invest Strong Network. Welcome. Yes, with uh, today's modern technology and the uh, Lending Club online peer-to-peer -peer, uh, platform, you, yes, you can become the banker uh, providing financing for persons in need of finance, right? But how do you do this? And what have been my personal experiences uh, using uh, the Lending Club platform? Well, this video will basically take uh, a 16 month report card on what I have experienced and uh, perhaps it could be instructive for you going forward. All right, so let's get right into it. Lending Club is an online platform that allows persons like you and me to provide financing via loans for persons that are in need of it, right? Now, these Lending Club loans, they can be as high as $40,000, but most of them are in the $3,000 to $20,000 range, right? Now, uh, I began with $5,000 back in October of 2018, right? And so uh, I set five criteria for any loan that I would invest my money in. And my criteria went something like this. Uh, the loan would have to be below $20,000, right? Uh, the person requesting the loan uh, could have no kind of public demarcations on their records. So that would mean no evictions, uh, no legal judgments against them, uh, no delinquent utility bills or anything like that, right? The third criteria is that they could not have been delinquent in any uh, loan, any other loan in the previous 24 months. And the fourth, uh, the fourth criteria is that I personally would only invest in A level, B level, or C level loans. Now, at the time, Lending Club uh, would grade their loans from A1, which were the premium quality, to as low as E5, which was the junkiest of the junk, right? However, in 2019, uh, Lending Club actually eliminated the E-Class category, right? However, there are still a number of junk loans on the Lending Club platform, and we will talk about that later, right? And the fifth criteria that I personally use is that I would provide, I would only invest in loans that uh, went towards debt consolidation or some kind of loan refinancing, something like that. See, that told me that this person or persons that are requesting this loan, uh, they take the whole issue of debt seriously and they, that they were hoping to use the Lending Club platform to reduce their overall debt burden and certainly uh, slash the rate of interest that they were paying on their debt on their debt, and thus they were much more likely to repay their loans than persons who were interested in borrowing money for a home renovation or to go on vacation or to purchase an automobile or something like that, right? So that was my five criteria. Now, it actually took me a while to fully invest the $5,000. Right. Many of the lending club uh, loans at the time did not meet one or more of the cat of the uh, qualifications that I had. And thus it took about, I think, like a month and a half or so to get the five thousand uh, dollars completely invested, uh, doing it in twenty five dollar increments. Right. Which is the minimum for to invest in a lending club note. All right. Now, what have been what has been the results? Right. The report card over the last uh, 16 months? Well, it goes like this. I have been able to acquire a total of 302 notes, 
right? So that's the initial $5,000 investment. And then also uh, those notes began to pay back interest and principal. And I would take all of that cash and then reinvest it in new notes, right? And I tried to stay fully invested at all times to maximize total return. So I've been able to acquire a total of 302 notes, of which 61 of them have been completely repaid. Now that's very impressive, right? Because these notes were either of 36 month duration. And I think I invested in a few that had like 60 month durations, but to have 61 of these loans completely repaid in only 16 months is very impressive, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, Lending Club has two categories of delinquencies. They have a 16 to 30 day delinquency, of which I have two notes in that category, both C level. And then they have 31 to 120 day uh, delinquencies, of which I have six notes, one A, three B level notes, a C level note, and a singular D uh, note that I invested in. I mean, it, it was a very small loan and it met all my other criteria. So I, I went ahead and rolled the dice and invested in this uh, D level note. And wouldn't you know it, boom, you know, after a few months, it's delinquent. What are you going to do? Right. So uh, and then I have four complete default charge offs Four, right. All four C-level notes. Keep that in mind. All right. So uh, my current loan uh, mixture goes something like this. Twenty two percent are A-level notes. 46.7% are B-level notes, 30.8% are C-level notes, and then I just add that one uh, D-level you know, note that's really of no consequence. All right, so what, what has been my total return? All right, uh, in the 16 months that I've been investing in Lending Club notes, I have been able to pull a 7.46% annualized total return. Let me tell you, I'm very happy with that, right? And actually, this total return would have been higher if not for the fact that Lending Club in, in some sometime in middle, late 2019 um, began restricting the purchase of new notes out of certain states. These states, uh, Arkansas, Arizona, Florida, North Carolina, North Dakota, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Texas. Any persons living in those states can no longer acquire any new notes or invest in any new loans on the Lending Club platform. Now, that's a bummer for me. I live in Houston, Texas, and so I have been restricted from acquiring uh, any new notes. Uh, and that has held down my total return as my cash position has piled up as, pe as people have repaid, but I've been unable to reinvest, right? Now, Lending Club has been rather opaque as to why this has happened in these 10 states, right? Now, I personally have searched the uh, Texas Legal and Regulatory Registry. I can't find the problem, right? But Lending Club insists that they just cannot offer notes uh, uh, in new notes in Texas. Now, they say, well, you can go and you can uh, acquire notes from another peer-to-peer uh, -peer lender and you can kind of trade them, something like that. But I'm not interested in doing that, to be honest with you. I would much prefer to acquire uh, any, uh, any loan notes uh, from the uh, Lending Club platform because that way I know that I can judge the quality and the the efficacy of these notes, right? And where you really just can't do that if you're acquiring acquiring them from a uh, from a third person, right? Okay. I hope that Lending Club can get this resolved because if they cannot get this situation cleared up with the state of Texas, then that means this project 
uh, will come to an end in October of 2023 by necessity. At that point, all of these loans will have reached maturity. I would not be able to acquire new loans. And thus, by necessity, my lending club project will come to an end. I actually hope that does not happen, but unless or until they can get this situation cleared up, that's what it looks like, right? Okay, so all in all, uh, would I encourage you to invest in uh, in lending club notes, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, lending? Yes, if you're in one of these states that, uh, that you can acquire notes, absolutely. Uh, be careful, right? Be careful. Because as I mentioned, uh, there are a lot. There are some junk notes out there on the Lending Club platform, and and I would take this as a rule of thumb: any Lending Club loan that is graded C three or lower, I would consider those junk loans. Beware, right? All right. So there's that. But with that said, uh, uh, I really have no problem with the total return that I've been able to get off of uh, investing in peer-to-peer -peer loans, right? Now, I will leave you with this one last thought. Okay, when one lends money on a commercial level, that's for a business venture or a real estate project or something like that, you pretty much, you know, figure that, you know, this is an investment, it may not fully pay off, you know, you kind of expect to suffer some losses, right? It's just a part of the psychology. But when you loan money on a personal level and the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, lending platform, this these are personal loans, right? It creates a different sense of upset when people do not repay their loans, right? I mean, just the idea that someone could borrow money, you know, 10,000, 15, 20,000 dollars or more and then just walk away, uh, that profoundly bothers me. And, and, I, and I, I think that you will have to overcome that. If you're interested in, um, in investing in peer-to-peer, -peer, doing peer-to-peer -peer lending, you're gonna have to overcome that. I know I did, right? And um, so now, I mean, obviously you wanna keep your delinquencies to a minimum and your defaults to an absolute minimum, but you have to be able to just take it and keep going. You don't want to have it cause any uh, source of, of, of upset or anger to hold you back from successful investing, right? All right, so I, I hope you've been able to benefit from this and uh, from my experience, and I thank you very much. All right, good day.